What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video and today we'll be talking about this chart here that will help your rebound chaser batch. This one here is more of a recap, I covered this one a couple of months ago, so I will just add more input about it. And try to watch the whole video so it will make full sense, trust me, if you miss some parts, you'll miss the whole point of the video, it's not going to be that long anyway. So basically what I did is I took lots of shots using my motor controller on different parts of the floor and I took note of the landing spots. I only took slightly late releases because I believe most missed shots came from that anyway because of latency, so might as well take a lot of samples instead of getting the other types of misses like slightly early and early. So first at the corner, it's more likely to land on the same side of the rim, then if we move to the wing, still the same, it's more likely to land on the same side as well, but this time it's more likely to land farther from the basket. And if we move closer to the center, the ball lands farther away. I think you pretty much get what kind of logic 2K put into this. And now for the center, I didn't even test it because it's really hard to be accurate. I mean, it has to be exactly on the center if I will take a shot, which is like nearly impossible. So I don't want to give you false readings. But just a smart assumption, of course, on the horizontal perspective, it will be even. And on the vertical perspective, it's more likely to be farther from the basket. And as you go to whatever side, of course, that increases the chance of the ball going to that side as well. So before we go to the next part, just want to invite you guys to like the video if you're liking it so far. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other videos. I've been doing some good stuff recently. And of course, subscribe to tune in for upcoming ones. So now going back, now you might ask, Toots, it doesn't look real. In real life, if you take corner shots, it's more likely to land on the opposite side, right? I know what you mean. That's even the reason why when we shoot around alone in real life, you don't want to take much corner shots because you'll end up chasing the ball on the opposite side of the floor. But unfortunately though, not all real life perspective is applied into this game, <laughs> so you gotta follow this chart here. Now, another thing that you might say now is, Toots, what's the point of all these charts here? If someone take a shot, I just box my man anyway, I don't care about these charts. I know what you mean, actually for the most part, even me, that's what I've been doing, but it's really good to have this chart here behind your head, you'll never know when you're going to need it. There could be lots of scenarios that you'll be needing this one, but I'll give you an example. If someone take a shot at the corner in this exact scenario, if you use the logic box your man first, of course you'll be going this way, right? Because that's your man, and leave this guy alone for a rebound. But now that you know this chart here, and you know that chances are high that it will land on this part of the floor here, you probably need to box that man instead. This scenario here is a pick your poison game, so it's really risky, but I would take a risk and box this guy instead. There could be lots of other scenarios that you're going to use all this info, this one is just one of it. So again, please let me know in the comment section what you think about it, and of course, any recommendation for a topic. 